I'm going to show you essentially two techniques that are going to help people who are beginners in advance. And anybody can use this technique, no matter if you're a Photoshop user, InDesign user, designer, photographer, whatever. So we all take pictures, and sometimes we take lovely pictures, but the sky doesn't really help. We want more dramatic skies with clouds. So I have um, those clouds that I downloaded from Adobe Stock, and I want to quickly composite them into. That was a into, nice plug. I like that. Huh? I like the plug. Oh, yeah. You, know, you have to plug in Adobe Stock. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyway, so um, if I want to quickly make um, a, a composite of these two images, if I use a selection tool or the quick selection tool or even try to make a mask out of a channel, that's, that's going to take way too long. So instead, what I recommend you do is double click on the side of the layer to bring up the layer style window. Then you can blend uh, layers by using their RGB channel. So if I select the blue channel, that's where you're going to have most of the information for the sky. And you can quickly make a really, really complex selection by clicking and dragging on the blue uh, black point, and the sky comes through like so. I can split that in half, and I can reposition the sky if I need to. If I zoom in. Can you add a jet? <laughs> Maybe. OK. OK. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, the selection was made very, very quickly. How much time I have? Oh, I have plenty of time. Um, <laughs> wow. I know the naysayers may say something like, well, what about if I create an adjustment layer, like an exposure adjustment layer, and adjust the exposure? The blend changes, because the um, blend if is using the luminosity of the channels to create the blend. But if I change the luminosity, then the blend changes. Well, you can actually get transparency. Look at the layer thumbnail. You see the layer thumbnail, how you can see the sky? I can actually create transparency, create a layer mask by simply right clicking on the layer and selecting Convert to Smart Object. Now look at the layer thumbnail. Now we actually have transparency. If I, if I hold Control, Command of the Mac, and click on the layer mask thumbnail, I actually load transparency as a selection. I can now come in and use an adjustment layer and change the luminosity of the layer, but I don't change the blend. Also. This is a very, very boring, boring picture, and we can add a jet to make it much better. And, and, and I did all that with a banana on the toolbar. What? <laughs> with 20 seconds to spare, 20 seconds to spare. 